Hey everybody, um, this is Tony Chang Med. This is my YouTube channel um, where I am sharing my journey in medical school. Uh, if you've been following, you'd know that for the past year I have been studying in my first year of medical school. And that's where I am in my journey in becoming a physician. I wanted to make a bigger video later about my entire year and just do like a recap and like a year in review. But before I did that, I really wanted to get out this video um, just because I think um, a lot of things have been happening a lot faster than they were when I was younger. And the month of May has just been so crazy. And I just wanted to take time to sit back and count my blessings. I have a lot to be grateful for and I'm just gonna sit here and list them out for you. Um, first, I'm going to just talk about some fun things uh, in terms of equipment that I've recently got. If you've noticed, I have a different camera lens now. Um, I think it looks great. I think it was a, a wonderful investment. It, it didn't really break the bank. Um, it's the 15mm uh, 1.8 aperture lens from Canon. And I think it looks great. Let me know what you guys think. It's just a very, very basic standard like portrait lens that you would use. Um, but I think, I mean, I. I think I look good. Uh, secondly, I just bought this microphone and I think it's the coolest thing. It was like 40 bucks, doesn't break the bank. Obviously I'm on a budget, I don't make a lot of money. In fact, I'm making negative money right now, I'm taking out loans to be in school, but it just looks fun and I'm hoping the quality from the audio comes out really nice. But on to a more serious note, I just finished my first year as a medical student. I just finished my exams like two days ago. Today is Sunday. I just finished my last two final exams on Friday and at the time I was just like studying and studying for the entire week that I couldn't really take time to kind of celebrate for myself. I mean I've been hanging out with friends, um, just kind of you know reflecting on the year, um, having meals and just you know having a good time with people but I haven't really taken time to sit back and just think wow. Where I was a year ago is definitely not where I am today. And I'm grateful that I got to have this experience where I've got to learn so much and see so much. I've been shadowing doctors and shadowing surgeons all year and just being in school with a bunch of people who um, I've learned now that your class is not going to be like-minded. Um, I, I wouldn't use that word. but. To be around people who kind of have a similar destination that you have and to be able to work with and to talk with all these people and being in that environment i'm so grateful for that and i'm grateful for all the support that i've received in my journey to get to where i am to even get to medical school in the first place i think support is definitely the most important thing that a person can have for them to do the things that they want to do. I was recently talking to a friend who, you know, he's been struggling a lot um, over the years. And I mean, he's got a lot of uh, things that he feels are holding him back. And we were talking about how he's never felt supported in his entire life. And that made me really sad to think about because I have received nothing but support um, throughout my, my, my life. And, you know, it's not like my family was rich, but they gave me a lot of things that even the richest person in the world maybe couldn't afford. You know, not everyone is as kind and as, as supportive as the people that I grew up with. For example, um, back when I was in elementary school, back in grade school. We had this little art project and our teachers told us to go home and grab a little stick, not like anything crazy, just go home, grab a stick and bring it to class tomorrow because we're gonna use it to make like a little diagram. And so everyone was supposed to bring a stick to class. And of course I go straight home, I watch TV, I do some homework and I completely forgot about the stick, you know, and it wasn't until my dad came home from work at 11 p.m. because at that time he was working um, the late shift and it's pouring rain 
thunder, lightning, the whole nine yards. For some reason, it reminded me then, oh, I need to get this stick. I need to go outside and grab this, like a twig or something. And I told my dad this, um, and if we can't get it tonight, maybe I'll get it in the morning. And he said, no, actually the rain, I checked the forecast, it's gonna get worse overnight, and it's gonna get worse in the morning. So I'm not sure if we can get the stick. But my family, when I told them that it was for school, whenever I told them that there was something I needed for school, and again, this is grade school, this is an art project, but my family valued education so much or they wanted me to get an education so badly that whenever I told them I needed something for school, like nothing would stop them from getting this thing for me. And I thought I was really clear that this is just like a twig I need for an art project. He said, Tony, don't worry about it. Go to sleep. It's 11 p.m. Um, when, the, when the rain lets up, I'll go run outside and grab one for you. Again, twig for an elementary school art project. Nothing incredibly important. And I wake up in the morning and I find that he not only went into the rain to find me a stick, but he took the time to whittle it down. To whittle it into, you know, whittling when you shave off the rough parts of a piece of wood. And I was just completely shocked because this was not just what I needed, but a lot more than that. And best believe I had the best looking art diagram thing out of the class. And I always think about that, um, how you don't need financial privilege or a financial advantage to be supportive. Yes, that is helpful, but there's so many other ways that you can impact a person. And that was just one example of how my family was very supportive of me and the things that I needed to get my education. And I've been continuously grateful and I don't express it enough and I take it for granted more often than I should. So here I am today counting my blessings again and just saying I'm so happy that I've had this, the support that I've had from the people that I've met in my life and the people that I've had in my life because not everyone can afford that no matter how much is in your wallet. Not everyone can afford that. A little bit more recently, uh, on to the next blessing. A little bit more recently, um, I went to the dentist for the first time since I moved here for medical school, um, which isn't crazy because I saw a dentist like a year ago. I probably shouldn't say that because you're supposed to see it every six months. You're supposed to see a dentist every six months, so I probably shouldn't say that. Um, but I go to the dentist, I get a cleaning, and I get an x-ray, and they say, hey, something looks a little funny on your x-ray. Um, you've got like a little cyst and they're usually benign, um, but we want to take it out. And the little, like, when people say it's usually benign, we tend, to, we tend to catastrophize a little bit, and I was a little concerned about it. But long story short, I got the surgery to remove the cyst, but thankfully the labs came back this week, and it was all benign, and I was worried about nothing, and now we can eat solid food again. And so hopefully I can gain a little bit of weight back. I lost a little bit of weight because I can eat the, the things I normally eat. Um, but again, yesterday I was having hamburgers at a grill out and I'm feeling a lot better. Um, so hopefully I'm going to start looking a little bit more plump. I look like, uh, my arms look like two toothpicks right now. But on to the main thing that I wanted to talk about today was, um, something I've been working on for the last year with uh, some friends of mine. Um, if you've noticed in any social media that I've got, I've been, um, I've been advertising this scholarship that uh, me and some of my friends have been working on. And this is the Zion Shamayin Memorial Award. And it's named after a, a really great friend of mine who um, passed away in 2020. Um, he, I met him in college and he was a biology major. I was a biology major and we took a lot of similar classes. He eventually went on to start pharmacy school and, um, he'd been so helpful throughout my college experience, not even just in academics, but just being a really good friend to people. Uh, being a really good friend to me, always checking in, and just being like the nicest person that you can imagine. 
Um, he was super smart. He was involved in research. He was from Bangladesh and he came to the US for college. He was doing research in Bangladesh. He was doing research in um, the US. I didn't know how he was able to manage both, but he did it. Um, he volunteered, he loved helping people and helping the community. And he just always thought about how he could be a bigger part of society and how he could make the big impacts that he wanted to make. And unfortunately, in 2020, I had learned that he passed away from SUDEP, which is sudden unexpected death from epilepsy. And it was a really tough time for me. You know, I had lost someone who I didn't think I was going to lose, at least not at his young age and not at this point in my life. Shortly after, um, a group of his family and friends realized that realized that the impacts that he had while he was spending time on Earth with us, they should not be forgotten and should not be going to waste. And we worked together to maintain his legacy and to do something that we know he'd be proud of. We. Uh, and a lot of my friends who are alumni at Emory University decided to set up a financial award. We decided to set up a scholarship in his name, the Zion Shamayi Memorial Award. And we've been fundraising for the past year. And, you know, I was optimistic about funding, but I was nowhere near, like, I didn't expect to see the results that we got, at least not in the first year, because we fundraised almost half of our goal um, our five-year goal in the first few months and we raised over twenty thousand um, dollars in our first summer campaign and we've gotten support from people across the world I've been reading like the comments and the stories that we see on the fundraising page about people who could relate to the things that we were sharing about Zion and um, I think for me it's made me feel like I was part of something bigger like the work that Zion was doing the work that we're doing, it's not just contained with the people that I see and the people that I know, but there's other people who feel the same things that we felt and want to do the same thing, same things that we, we are doing. And so a quick plug, if you have the time, the resources, please donate or share the fundraising link. Or um, if you just want to learn more about Zion and his story and the things that we've accomplished this past year, please click on the links in the description. Um, we We'll take any help we, we can get in establishing this award at Emory University. It's going to go to a disadvantaged student who is active in health science research and is active in their community and wanting to make a big impact uh, on society as a whole. This past week, I learned that the inaugural awardee, the first recipient to get the award, had been selected. And I learned that it's going to a student who is active in health sciences research is uh, active in their community and has actually been doing research in epilepsy for the past um, I don't know a few semesters and um, when I learned about that I realized it couldn't go to a better candidate and I really appreciate um, all the people who applied for the scholarship and I really appreciate the selection committee that went through all those applications and um, selected a person who I think is very fitting uh, for the award and for that, I'm counting that as a blessing, you know, um, after a really difficult time for me and my friends, you know, a lot of the people we knew, we came together and worked hard to make something out of it and hoping to make something that lasts. I mentioned that our fundraising goal is $50,000 and we need to earn that in the next couple of years. Um, not just because we picked a number that we liked, but because we need 50000 to endow the award to make it uh, in perpetuity. Uh, that's just a fun, fancy way uh, to say that once we hit $50,000, the award is going to exist for as long as Emory University is an institution that can give out the award. And so once we hit $50,000, this award will be available to students um, for the foreseeable future and that's what we're hoping to do and so i'm going to ask i'm going to give a quick plug here if you have the time if you have the resources please click on the link learn more about zion's story the things that we've accomplished this year 
And um, again, if you have the time and resources, please share with your friends and family, the people you know. And if you can, please donate so that we can establish this award at Emory University so that we can help people um, throughout the rest of time, hopefully. So thank you for watching. Again, uh, just to recount, I finished my first year of medical school, guns blazing, and I couldn't be more proud of myself, but also I couldn't be more grateful for the people around me who have given me such great support. I'm thankful that um, I can eat again. Uh, please don't discount some of the small things you have in life. Don't take anything for granted. I learned the past two weeks that I really enjoy food, and for the foreseeable future, I will be eating quite a bit of food and uh, making up for lost time. And again, if you have the time and resources, please donate, share, or if you want, just learn about the award and the things that we've been working on. I'm really proud of it, and I'm looking forward to doing some more good work through the scholarship. And lastly, in conclusion, I finished my first year of med school, so I can finally sign off as Tony Chang MS2. And with that, I hope you guys have a great day. And please subscribe if you want to learn more about my time in med school and all the fun things I'm doing outside of class. And thank you for watching.